my name is Bob and I love my two-car garage. All right, here we go with the electrolysis process. I want to get as much of this rust off of this part as I can. So I set up the tank that I could see through, put some water in here, and added some Arm & Hammer Laundry Booster Super Washing Soda. Actually, the key ingredient right here is sodium, sodium carbonate, which there are other things that have that, but this is the cheapest way to go. And... Um, you're going to put a tablespoon of that into uh, the water for each gallon of water that you have. I, you need some sacrificial metal. In, in this case, it's a, a couple of form stakes and some rebar, connecting them all together. Then I'm going to take my battery charger, and I'm going to take the negative side, and I'm going to hook it up to the wire that's connected to the part. And I'm going to take the positive side and I'm going to hook it up to the rebar and it's ready to go. All I got to do is flip the switch and I should see almost immediately some bubbles coming up from the part and from the electrode so you know the process is working right away. Now actually I've already done this. So you could probably do it with just this little explanation right here, but if you want to watch the rest, you can see everything that I kind of had to work through. All right, so I'm mixing in about a half a cup of this, uh, it's called Super Washing Soda Laundry Booster. And I'm gonna rig this up on the wire so it uh, hangs nicely. And I'm going to twist this together with uh, some lineman's pliers. Got these two electrodes connected. This is wired right here. Cool thing about this process is as soon as I hook it up, you're going to see bubbles coming off of the electrodes. Plug it in. Just like firing up your Christmas lights for the first time. Yeah, I can see those little bubbles coming up already. I've only been gone for 30 minutes, but I'm so excited about this little process here that I had to show you already. After 30 minutes, I got a bunch of rust bubbles coming off of this thing. I pulled this one out, this little leg out of there after about uh, four or five hours of uh, in that in that uh, electrolysis process and it's obviously still got a lot of rust on it as is the other one that I did last night but if you look at them carefully these two that went through the process have a lot more detail in them and um, so it did get rid of a lot of the rust and if you look at the tank there's a lot of rust in there so a lot of it got pulled off and the electrodes are just filled with the rust that came off of the part and onto those electrodes. So it's a pretty cool process. Won't completely uh, reverse the damage that's been done to these parts over the years, but it does get them a lot closer to what I want them to be. All right, well, it's the next day and I just had a great idea. I found this bigger charger right here <laughs> more amps couldn't help so I've been using this little guy and uh, it's worked out okay but I want to give a I want to maybe add a couple more electrodes in here and uh, put on this bigger charger and see what happens I hope we don't blow the place up but uh, I think it's just gonna make everything work faster so I'm gonna give it a try all right, well, the way I'm doing this is totally unnecessary, but I found this very cool little clamp. Uh, it's a clamp that's used for grounding a uh, rod into the ground, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to use that for attaching my wire. 
playing around with the amperage on this machine right here. I cranked it up to 12 volts and 225 amps is what you would use to start a car with. And the bubbles are just like cranking out of there, just flying out of the, uh, off the piece up there. And um, I don't want to leave it that way. It might be too much. So I'm not an expert at this. I'm just kind of experimenting. I stuck my hand in the water and I got a little tingle. So um, that might be a warning. Okay, well, let's just kind of talk through the whole process here. First of all, the tank, the electrodes, and the wiring. I went out and bought a tank uh, that I could see through. You don't have to do that, but I just kind of like to see the whole process going on. As soon as you hook it up, you're going to be able to see the bubbles coming up and stuff like that. So I went out and bought a uh, just a plastic container. It wasn't very much, like five bucks at Home Depot. I've seen guys actually use just... Uh, a cup uh, a bucket and put a couple of spoons on the side and then vice grip the spoons uh, down into the bucket for their electrode or for their electrodes I got um, some rebar I had it around so I used it and some form stakes it can't you can't use copper you can't use use stainless steel you have to use something that's uh, iron so and these these worked fine I cleaned them up a little bit but I don't even know if that was necessary uh, the wiring out here is all copper wiring but the wire that goes down in the water should not be copper because it doesn't um, well it just gets messy so at least that's what I hear I didn't use it and I'm not gonna try so I got some bailing wire and that works pretty good this wire had some stuff on it like some uh, a little bit of paint and it came off pretty fast and worked worked pretty well um, the hardest thing for me to find actually was uh, this stuff right here this is a Arm & Hammer super washing soda and it's got sodium carbonate in it in fact it's almost pure sodium carbonate and that's what you need and I went to about five different grocery stores Finally found it at Ralph's and on the bottom shelf. It's kind of hard to find, but um, you can buy stuff at a science supply place, but this stuff is probably more readily available, even though I did look around quite a bit. I went crazy. I bought some of this. It has a little bit of sodium carbonate in it. Uh, I bought some OxyClean, uh, but it's the powdered stuff that you really need. And... Um, I heard that some types of uh, radiator cleaner have uh, sodium carbonate as well. I think it's also known as soda ash. So, but the sure deal is that uh, Arm & Hammer uh, wash, super washing soda. I ended up with four electrodes because I wanted to speed it up and I started with a little trickle charger. And then I found this larger charger and hooked it up to all four and you might be able to hear it hum right now because it's it's working and um, so I think bigger is better I went to I think 50 amps from 2 to 50 and it's really bubbling right now and nothing's getting hot so it seems to be working okay some precautions the negative wire it goes on the part or ne negative connector the positive connector goes on the electrodes. I heard and I've seen guys that will actually take the negative side and connect it directly to the part and submerge it in the water. And I think that works, but obviously you don't want to connect the two because it won't work that way. Another precaution is that the bubbles that you see coming off of the top of the water is our hydrogen and um, they're lighter than air, so they'll just go up high. So do this in a well-ventilated uh, area. If you capture this stuff, which you can capture it in a little cup or something, and put a match to it, it explodes. <laughs> so we don't want things blowing up. 
nice and well ventilated here where I am. It's open air, it's covered, so it's a great place to do this. But um, that was day two, cleaning up my legs using the electrolysis process.